Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Zebra Games. The only gaming channel on YouTube that lets you game with the power of a zebra. Alright everybody. Now today we're going to continue the Castlevania theme going, but we're going to have a game on PlayStation 2. That is because PlayStation 2 won the poll I put up on what you want to see me play more. So, I'm going to be playing some PlayStation 2. And today we're going to be playing Castlevania Curse of Darkness by Konami. Now, the Castlevania games I've played a lot of, um, you just saw me playing the Dominus Collection on Switch last time. And the 3D Castlevania games, I've only actually played one of, and that was Castlevania 64, which was a steaming pile of crap. So, I haven't played any of the PlayStation 2 ones, so this is going to be new for me. Right here you see a very Japanese looking character, <laughs> and some demons, and... Yeah, we got all kinds of shit going on, but I'm going to ignore the story because I just want to see what the game plays like. So let's get into this bad boy. Oh, I got to put my name, of course. It is none other than the one, the only, the zebra. Of course it's correct. What other name would there be? I don't know. Well, whatever, just fucking save wherever the fuck you want to save. Let me play the game. Ah, oh, come on. Memory card slot. Just let me play. This is when games started getting a little less user-friendly. <laughs> Granted, there was stuff like that in earlier systems, too, but that's not the point. Okay, we're going to get a story. And there's a map and shit, but can I skip this? Yeah, I'm just going to skip it. See? Now we're at a castle. It's Castlevania. We gotta be in a castle. That's just how it freaking goes. Here we go. Alright. Graphics and frame rate obviously aren't the best. Because it is PlayStation 2. Let's jump, attack. Alright, let's go do some stuff. Running through a castle. Ooh, right. Camera controls are inverted. That annoys me. Can I change that? There. Now, if I push right, the camera goes right. If I push left, the camera goes left. Up and down are still inverted. Okay. That makes no sense. Whatever. Whoa. Hey. Had to load walking through that door. I mean, through it. <laughs> but, it's about vampires, so fuck it. Oh shit, what the hell? That's not a vampire! The fuck are you? You're an interesting looking fella. Now you're a dead fella. Yeah, you die at my blade. What's this, candy bar? Memorial ticket. Wanted a candy bar. Not myself if I haven't had a Snickers, damn it. Let me out. God damn it. Whatever. There it goes, motherfucker. Alright. Let's get out of here. I didn't want to go to a save room. I didn't know what that shit was. I just want to play the game. Let me kill some things. Ooh, there's a double jump. There we go. Merman, level four. Dead merman. This game does have some camera issues, just like most early 3D games. I still don't like the camera. <laughs> okay, it's not backwards, it's just really touchy and annoying. What's this one? And it's the save room. Oh. 
I just went in a freaking circle. Back downstairs. This is a really low class castle. It's freaking flooded up. Just one floor down. Level up. Okay, so it's like the DS games, Symphony of the Night, Game Boy Advance games. Kind of a hack and slash version of them, it looks like. Like if Castlevania Symphony of the Night met God of War. Get over here, you merfuck. Alright. I don't know where I'm going. Can I break this? No. Yeah. What, do I just go back upstairs? What am I supposed to do? Give me an objective or direction or something. Come on. Found like an uppercut. Oh, it's a kick. The frame rate's too choppy. I couldn't tell it was a kick. Some nice fog effects making everything hard to see. <laughs> Until you get all up close in it. Alright, back upstairs. There are arrows pointing here. I thought this is where I came from, though. I can't jump over that. Wait. So you can go in front here. But I wasn't able to jump over it and I'm not able to jump over this. Okay, that's pretty limiting. Uh, ignore me finding the camera. Okay. Into the fog we go. I mean, there's some jank here and there. There's some screen tearing. Um, I don't know. It seems like an okay game. I don't know what those chains are for, but I'm just going to go in here. But so far I haven't seen much, and I've only killed a few little fish boys. Alright, so let's go that way. Camera still... Ugh, I hate that. I always have to think of which way I'm turning it. Because it does not turn the way you would think. Hey, I got a dollar and a candle. So that's where I keep my money, in my candles. <laughs> or torches, or whatever the hell they are. Alright, come on. Where's some bad guys? There's a lot of empty room here. I know the 3D Castlevania games get a lot of flack, but I also know there's a fan base for them. So far, I'm not really seeing it. I mean, it's not horrible. I've played worse things, that's for sure. Got a potion. But so far, the beginning is really slow and directionless. <laughs> Wait, so I'm at a dead end now? Really? Where am I supposed to go? And why does he run so slow? He's doing a full running motion, but barely moving. Clicking the stick doesn't make you run faster. Ooh, I can walk slower. I think that was a block. Aww. <laughs> I dance now. Okay, so back to the castle, I guess. Abandoned castle. Yeah, you're damn right it's abandoned. I can't find shit to do in there. It's just flooded. So this isn't going to be a very interesting video, it looks like, if I can't find the rest of the bad guys. It's just kind of me running around. So now the arrows are pointing this way. I think... They just... No, now they're pointing that way. They changed directions. 
That's just a fucking save room, though. There we go. Finally, someone. Just like that, they're... Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. somewhere. Let's see, we'll give this a little bit more shot just to see a little bit more of the game, but I think we get a pretty good idea of what this game is. Can't even walk all the way up to the walls. Like, there's just invisible walls holding you in, so it's just a background. See that tile there where it goes up? Yeah, you can't pass that. So we actually only really have half the screen real estate. Come on! I want to be entertaining for you guys, but there's not much to say so far. Oops, I skipped something. What are these green snot rocks? Bronze? They don't look bronze to me. Finally some action. Should be like a dodge button or something. Okay, so I can block. I can just use my arms to block a sword. Does that make sense? I like my nice, youthful gray hair. <laughs> Why is it only one dollar? Who's leaving all these dollar coins and candles? Fucking weirdos. Oh shit, it's a puppy! Level 5 puppy. Looks like he's part pick. Wild memory. I got a wild memory from a puppy pick. That's interesting. Alright, here comes another. Yeah, can't get to the walls, see? So it's made to look like a 3D environment, but you can't actually touch anything. <laughs> so you're just like on an invisible track. Going through killing bad guys and collecting dollars. <laughs> and so far it seems to be pretty linear too. I mean, I was confused where to go, but there only seemed to be one way to go. didn't really give me a choice. I backtracked and it was just like, yep, nothing over there. Like it can't go in there or keep going this way? Yeah. But then what if I'm missing something I need and it's just supposed to be linear? No dollars? Come on, you cheap fucks. This is just another save point. I don't know. Alright, I think you guys kind of get the idea of this game. I mean, it's kind of interesting, but kind of annoying at the same time. It's not what I expected. It's, I don't know what to say. Like, it's not horrible, but it's not really keeping me that well either. Maybe it gets more in-depth as you go. But right now, it just feels like a really cheap knockoff of God of War, and I'd be, rather be playing God of War. I only get one dollar at a time, which seems really, really cheap. And now I got a map. How do I look at my map? There's no map button? The fuck? Huh, there it is, okay. You press what would be select on an old controller. Mm. Some map, look at that, it's just straight shot. Like, yeah, you go here, here, here. And you're gonna go over here. Alright, so let's get to the end of this path and see what there is, and then that'll be the end of the video. <laughs> Sorry if you were hoping it was over, but I'm just curious. I want to see something more. This hasn't really offered me much yet. The most interesting I've gotten is these pig puppies. And their wild, wild memories. 
All right, let's see. Got some more Skelotons. Oh, that's not how it's pronounced. <laughs> Fuck you. Steal your snot bronze. Nothing over there. I'm gonna take some dollars and go. All right, we got a mini boss of some kind, a boss, I don't know. Do the skeletons keep respawning? Or am I actually getting rid of them? I think I killed them all. Oh, it's not even going to tell me who the fuck this is. Come on, one-eyed Rocksteady. Cyclops, level 8, and he is down. That was not hard at all. I wasn't even trying to dodge him or anything. I was just hacking away. Didn't even take half my energy. That was pretty fucking simple. Now what? So I can't even open the treasure chest? Fuck you. Ooh, I found meat in a candle. So that makes even more sense, huh? <laughs> Alright guys, um, if you know these games and you like them, I mean, let me know what's so special about them. I don't really see it, but also maybe it was different given the time period when they came out. I mean, it's not bad. I have played worse games. But it's not really compelling me to keep playing at all. So I'm going to end this video now. This has been Castlevania Curse of Darkness. And you know, until next time, just keep on gaming and I'll catch you guys later.